time when lots of us are trying to cut back on our spending, it might feel like a last-minute getaway is off the cards. Yeah, but today, finance expert Dave Fishwick is helping you escape for less. Uh, staircations, Dave. Good morning. Oh, yeah, you're right. Really? Fabulous. Living the dream. <laughs> you're, from, you're, you're, you're from round my way, aren't you? Yeah, Bolton. Yeah. Centre of the universe. Absolutely. God's Burnley and Bolton. God's country, as they call it. Yeah. Dave. Well, that's what I've come to talk about, to be honest. It's about location. Right. Going on a staycation is about the location. Because you can go down Cornwall and spend a fortune. Or you can save a fortune and head north. Yes. You know, it really is about location. You can save £500 by going north, and with some wonderful places. Mm -hmm. We've got Scotland, Cumbria, mm. the Lake District, Blackpool, yep. Fleetwood, Morecambe, London, Burnley. <laughs> Burnley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wales. <laughs> Not in agreement there, Bird. Um, like, you, like you say, maybe it's places that do get overlooked, because when you hear about people going on staycation, a lot of people are heading that way to the Cotswolds, toward, you know, Devon, like you say, Cornwall, and that's where they're staycations are, ha are happening but there are lots of places that we are overlooking i guess definitely and one of the one of the secrets is book direct go straight to the hotel give them a call right check the website before you go on there find out how much it's going to cost maybe even visit a local travel agent see what sort of cost they are but speak direct to the hotel okay. ask for the manager or the owner because they will make a decision where you'll get it cheaper. Right. Make friends with them. It's just words. Yeah. And you can get things like free child places. You can get things like a free breakfast. You might even get a glass of wine when you go there. It's just about making friends before you go. So, so Dave, is, it, is, it, is it cheaper if you ring the hotel directly? I think so. I is it? definitely think so. It's about... Do a little bit of research, ring the hotel, and ask for somebody that can make a decision. Right. Preferably a family-owned hotel that you can talk to. Yeah. And don't necessarily go to where the peak of the place is. When I say that, so if you go embed yourself into the heart of the Lake District, that's going to cost you a fortune. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of miles further out, and a bus ticket. You know, I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I got in touch with Pendle Council right. and I said to them, how much for a ticket for a week? £16.50, jump on bus as much as you can, up Pendle Hill, down the other side, all round Clitheroe. Fantastic. £16.50 for a week. Three quid a day. Yeah. That's good, though, isn't it? Yeah. What a bargain. Oh, you, you know, like, we're, we're in, a, we're in a, uh, an age where we like counting our steps, get your hiking boots on, go for a walk with a backpack, yeah. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that's so good for the kids, I And find. fresh air you as know, well. Yeah, it's so good and for the kids. And that's free, isn't it? You go yeah. bill, like Wainwright walks and things, flask, Sandwiches, beef paste butties, bag of prank, prawn cocktail crisps. Have we gone back to the 70s? <laughs> that, no, but beef paste butties. It's bringing, it's bringing the old school. school. With that. <laughs> it's bringing the old school holidays back. Of course right? it is. Yeah. What's Absolutely. wrong with that? Absolutely. <laughs> Prince's beef paste. Hey. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. Prince's what? See? Beef paste. Oh, you've beef never lived. Paste. You've never lived. <laughs> No, I've never I haven't. <laughs> you see, up north, we've got electricity and fitted carpets now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Absolutely. Uh, Dave, how else can we save money on our, on our, on our holidays at home? Mm. Share a cottage. That's the future. Okay. Share a cottage. So, if you've got friends, family, anybody that you get on with, you can share a cottage. It costs... So people you know, you're saying. Yeah, well, right. or people you don't know that you might get on with. You know, you can get a fancy flat down Torquay for six or seven hundred quid with one bedroom. That's not good to name it, nobody. No. Yeah. You can get just outside Torquay for six hundred quid. You can get a six-bedroom cottage, right? Wow. Lovely. But it's outside Torquay. So you can share with your friends. It'll have a couple of bathrooms. You can have a bathroom each. Yeah. And you can go out and have some fun. Yeah. Bath on your bus that's pass. Super important. You can get to talk for cheaper. Hey. Hey. I'm listening, Upstairs Dave. for thinking. Downstairs I'm listening, for dancing. Dave. I'm listening, Dave. <laughs> this is my favourite item ever. I love you two together. This is everything. This it's is good like to have somebody from up north, yeah. yeah. <laughs> love it. Love but, it. And that's the thing. Head north. The future. Head north. Down south's wonderful. Right. But the problem is, I were, I were out last night. Uh, I, was, I was in a, a local hotel, uh, only 10 minutes from here. And do you know what it cost, Vernon, for two bottles of Corona? 13 quid. Mm -mm. Wow. I went, how much? 13 wow. quid. Where, where was that, though? <laughs> I don't say. Oh, really? <laughs> was, it, was it up north or down south? No, down, down south. Yeah, north, I was going to say down 10 south. 10 minutes from here. Oh, right, OK. Up north, yeah. a fiver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're yeah, not yeah, wrong. And it's true. Right. It's true. It really is. Let's it... talk a bit about um, transport. Yes. And transport deals, because that's, that's a big part of it for a lot of people. Like we were talking before, mm. you know, um, 
But the fuel fuel prices. prices and everything else, yeah. trans everything Transport. just sort of gone up. So we mentioned the bus deals. You can get train deals. You can get local car rental. Don't go to Hertz where they've, they're massive and they've got a price and the, and the poor girl behind the desk, she, she can't give you a fiver off because they're told what to do. Yeah. Go to a local company. Ask for a slightly older car. You know, when I go on my holidays, I'm not bothered about driving around in something fancy. As long as it goes forwards and backwards, you live in the dream. <laughs> So get something cheaper. Ask yeah. for something a little bit older. Family firm. You're taking it for four or five days. Check before you go. See if they've got something coming in. Do your research. Don't go to the big names. So it's avoiding those big corporate firms. Yeah, right? you can go to the airport. They'll have plenty of cars, but you'll pay through the north yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're if you're going to a local company, you're feeding the local community, yeah, aren't you? Instead correct. of like, pockets yeah. of the big boss. I like that. Exactly. Yeah local use it or lose it because that's what's going to be with these shops and banks and things you know mm -hmm. Absolutely. now when you're going down in your car because plenty of people go down in the car or up north let's say we're having that up north in car uphill for dancing right <laughs> now when you're going in your car you can use a special app and it's brilliant it's called petrol petrol prices get it downloaded onto your phone yeah Put in where you're going, whichever you sat yeah. at, put in the address where you're going and it'll tell you where the cheapest fuel is in that area. Oh, that's good. So you can set off from home with the cheapest fuel and when you get there, you can come back with the cheapest fuel. Nice. So petrol prices, that's the app. Okay. Whatever your destination, that's where you absolutely win with. Because if you look at petrol prices uh, nationwide, there is a lot of fluctuation between the prices, like down south and up north. Mm. And, and sometimes you get a cheeky little petrol station that's doing it a lot less than the major suppliers. And those are the kind of people, hopefully, that that app will uh, highlight. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good advice. Write that down, everybody, at all. Yeah, that's the go. one. <laughs> yeah. son, of, son of a lorry driver, you see, Dave. There you go. Yeah, hey, all these tips. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, I sell a few buses, so we've, we've, we've got that job in between, haven't we? It's, it's in our DNA, <laughs> I'm a bus David. Spotter. There you go. <laughs> But, you. you know, you can budget your, your price as well. You're on all the different week, budget it each day. You want to be looking at what you're going to spend. You don't want to get to end up week and not be able to have a chippy tea on a Friday. Absolutely. Stay putting chips, peas and gravy, very important. <laughs> Friday night, you want to have enough for it. So each day, sounds simple, yeah. but budget for each day mm. because it's important because at the end of the week, you might have something planned where you're going to a bit of a show. You might be going to a local uh, farmer's field where they've got a concert in. Hopefully, they might have burgers and things. You, know, you need the money for that. Yeah. Are you a battered bits person, Dave? A battered bits. <laughs> battered sausage, curry sauce, tea cake to dip in, not with currants in. Because up north, we call them tea cake. Yeah, or we a We could have a dip in. <laughs> Yeah. That's it, a bap. I bet you're a pea wet person as well, aren't you, oh, Dave? Pea wet. Oh, you've got to have wet. Great, yeah. peas, curry. There get it all go. on. There you go. <laughs> Welcome I'm, to the North, Rochelle. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I don't know what, what you said, but it sounded tasty. <laughs> yeah. I heard gravy and I was in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and research for discounted activities. That's important. You know, something there that's going on. Make sure you're not going when the, the Formula One's on or the racing's on or a rally's on. Right. Because you'll pay a fortune. Yeah. For the week before or the week after. And there's lots of activities that we can do for free. Count swimming in the sea yeah. is free. And you know, there's the groups. You know, when you have like sort of Facebook local groups of like, you know, and they'll say that this is, this is the park That's to it. go to or in that area. So uh, vlogs, blogs, yeah. Yeah. Facebook. Do your research online have before a good you research go. Before. And when you're going to looking for a restaurant, you know, find out if they do an happy hour or they do an early bird menu. Get yourself in first, buy three pints and tell them to keep to it pumped for later. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I love yeah. that. And also, um, there's a lot of kind of sunset specials, aren't there? You know, like end of the day yes. activities yeah. where, where maybe the queue is a lot less than peak hours. Yeah. You go at the end of the day yeah. and it's a lot cheaper. Exactly. And you mentioned earlier about swimming. Swimming in the sea. Well, if you're going to a nice place or, or a, local, a local hotel or whatever... To go to a spa or whatever, if it's got a spa bolted on the side of it, it's double money. Right. Mm. Well, just go to the local hotel, have a look round that area and see what spas there is, see what swimming pools there is. Then ring up and see if they're doing a, a, a day's offer where you can come in for free or a trial yeah. for a week. Oh, you can you book are. yourself in at end of uh -huh. month, cancel it, you get a week for free and you can bring a friend. You can be doing backstroke. <laughs> That's why he's here. You can that be doing backstroke all week. That's why you're in big posh pool. That's yeah. why you're <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Dave, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.